All right, welcome back to Crosswords, people. So we talking King of the Dot, decade December 9th in Toronto. We done chopped it up about a couple battles that's already been announced on this card. Next up that we need to kind of break down just a little bit is Cortez, Murder Ave, Brooklyn in the building versus Passwords going down. Passwords from out Oakland, uh, a pioneer of the sport. Cortez, a pioneer, this sport, an arguable legend when it comes to battle rap. These guys are going to be facing each other December the 9th at Decade, man. 10-year anniversary for King of the Dot. Pretty dope card so far, you know. Um, I can't wait to see how it pan out, but, you know, I think, in my opinion, Cortez and Password can definitely end up to be a classic. A uh, couple key reasons or key points that I think is going to be instrumental to making this a battle a classic between the two. I want to start off with the pressure points between Cortez and Passwords. Once again, this is Crosswords, T7M Radio, 7 Mitchell in the building. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. But we're talking about uh, Cortez and Passwords and looking at number one, my key to a classic is going to be the pressure points. Now, Cortez, resume-wise, we're looking at about an estimated 70 battles overall on his on his repertoire. Uh, passwords is about, I would say, about half of that. I think Passwords is a little bit over 30 battles, um, even though he's been in the game. But I think Passwords, uh, record, I think he's about a little bit 30 battles in. Now, now Cortez... 2018 the pressure to me is on both of these battle rappers and this is why not that much pressure because they both perform well uh but cortez let's be honest 2018 he lost the old red smack volume two he had an exceptional year um with the battles versus rider and a ward over all those battles dropped this year but you know he lost the old red smack volume two so i think you know cortez definitely have to show and prove from that we haven't seen you know that much of Cortez 2018. I know he's been working on other things. Um, number two, as far as a pressure point for Cortez, now he has his own pay per view link for the stream for King of the Dot Decade. If you go ahead and order the pay per view, he has his own direct link. I don't know what type of um, financial dealings he receives from that, but you know, I don't think the battle rap community has any problem with you know following suit with what Cortez need. But Core, you better come with it. You better come with it because if we're putting any extra dollars in you battle rap pockets, man, I'm telling you, y'all better come with it. And I'm not really concerned about Cortez doing um, the unthinkable and not coming prepared because Cortez always come prepared, man. Let's not be that disrespectful to murder ass. Jesus Christ, some of y'all need to be drug tested. But, you know, I think that is a pressure point. If he has his own pay-per-view link, you can't act because this is a game changer, and so to speak. And if you drop the ball, nobody's going to have any leverage to do this again. So Cortez, shout out to him. This is the first time I've seen a battle rapper have their own link for a pay-per-view stream. But you got to bring it now that, you know, you're asking for it. And then, you know, last but not least, I think the stark effect for Cortez. You know, Cortez, like I just mentioned, he brings it. All three rounds for the most part. Every battle. So, you know, him being a star, him knowing what goes into things and what it's going to take to put on a dope back and forth battle. I think those are the pressure points for, you know, Cortez, no doubt. Passwords, a little bit of a different story. Passwords, the last time I saw Passwords was URL, the win versus Young Cannon. Um. He's a pioneer, like I said at the beginning of the video. Some of y'all might say Password is a legend. You know, I don't know. You know, he keeps getting great names on King of the Dot. But I don't see a lot of bodies from Passwords. And I don't honestly, no disrespect, see a lot of classic moments as of late. <coughs> from Passwords, especially on King of the Dot. The Big K battle, the Nestle battle, Money Bags, Bishop Brigante, Arsenal, Chilla Jones. I mean, he went off against Charlie Clips. I'm not going to lie. And those are dope battles from past. I don't want to downplay, you know, like he was trash in those battles. But I really wouldn't call any of those classics. 
no memorable moments are sticking off the top of my head and um you know he, he's got some solid solid looks on king of the dot so this is a home game so to speak for passwords cortez familiar with king of the dot too he had the title match you know last year <coughs> excuse me but i think that passwords he gotta show me something he did versus yk in a sense because remember he had lost the briz you know part of cave gang on url at traffic you know maybe a couple years ago and i just was not sold on passwords like y'all was propping him up and i was not sold on him and i had to do my homework but you know throughout time i've gained a lot of respect for him and what he did to young cannon how he got that clear win cortez is not young cannon and i don't want to keep putting light on the young cannon battle because cortez is a whole different monster but password i think i believe knows how to get it done but i need to see memorable moments you know at the end of the day you know cortez got it i need to see it from passwords so should be a great battle you know through and through when it come to you know password and cortez but my final point you know outside of the pressure point my final key rather to this being a potential classic king of the dot december the 8th is going to be the start time of the battle i think the start time of the battle believe it or not is going to play a role uh in the momentum of the whole card i think back to rbe of red breeds when they had mook versus verb if i'm not mistaken i think it was the mook versus verb battle i think that thing went like third or fourth and that was the main event and they kept the crowd engaged not to say that the beginning of the event was trash but it kind of changed the narrative and it kind of kept the people lit throughout the whole event um i think cortez and past they may not have battle of the night but they definitely can have one of the best back and forths and king of the dot man let's be real y'all need to set the tone y'all need to set the tone so i don't know how y'all got it scheduled and planned out you know, no disrespect to Cortez or Pass because they definitely are worthy of going later on towards the end of an event, you know, towards the headline and situations. But I think the tone need to be set. And I will put that responsibility in Cortez and Password's hands early on, you know, for decade. Let it be known off the rip that this type of event is going to be so crazy, you know, and that possibly could raise the bar for some of the other battles coming up because i see some of the people in the battle rap community not that happy about some of the announcements um, of the battles on this card i think it's fire but you know set the tone get a fire back and forth early on to start the event off one of the first couple battles and i think um we could be seeing something special from decade and i'm putting that responsibility on cortez and pass so it's gonna be a dope battle great back and forth no doubt uh two top tier artists in the game oakland brooklyn west coast east coast new york cali however you want to do it man it's going to be a fucking movie going down in toronto december the 9th decade man make sure y'all support king of the dot cop the pay-per-view stream i know most of y'all ain't got no passport so y'all ain't going to no venue y'all ain't going to no venue let's be clear if any most of y'all think y'all getting overseas to go to this event y'all too should be drug tested y'all might as well get the pay-per-view Y'all ain't got no passports. Y'all ain't got no passports. You know, some of us owe so much child support. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. But, again, man, make sure y'all support KOTD. December 9th is going down. Decade. King of the Dots. 10-year anniversary event. This is featuring Cortez versus Passwords, man. It's going to be a fire battle. I can't wait for the back and forth. But um, I'm 7 Mitchell, man. T7 on radio. This is Crosswords. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel couple of reminders of course uh every day six o'clock p.m monday through friday y'all make sure y'all tune in to the youtube channel t7l radio we drop a new edition of crosswords here monday through friday 6 p.m eastern if you guys want to be a special guest on crosswords y'all also make sure y'all shoot me an email at t7l radio at gmail.com i'll def definitely bring y'all guys on to the stream we can debate a topic of your choice when it comes to battle rap also, if you guys like the video, make sure y'all share, subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, if you guys would like to also donate to the network, shout out to the donation gang. We definitely appreciate all the contributions. If you guys want to donate a dollar or more to the network, 
be sure to check out the description box donation links are also there but it is what it is man we locked and loaded it's going down december 9th cortez versus passwords king of the dot 10th year anniversary decade in toronto you know this is just my quick preview we probably gonna get into some predictions a little bit uh closer to the actual battle but as for now those are my keys to a dope classic in the making let's get it cortez and passwords man going down king of the dot decade december 9th y'all stay safe man i'm seven mitchell this is crosswords t7m radio subscribe to the channel y'all already know the drill and i'm out